but I, I like to give it a try. I used to smoke on Link and um, uh, half and half. Kind of missing <laughs> the Middleton Cherry. Cherry's Middleton. I like to try it for old time's sake just to see what it tastes like now. I, I, I don't think they make it anymore, but uh, there's some nice blends out there. There's some really nice. I found some interesting blends coming out of North Carolina. I used to live in North Carolina, Jacksonville, when I was in the core. You know, and uh, used to do some bass fishing. Back in the backwoods, nice bass fishing. Some They got some nice lakes. Black Mountain. Yeah, I miss. I miss offshore fishing, too. And I'm here in the Caribbean. I don't do fishing, you know. I'm just not a big saltwater guy. But I love fishing off the coast, the breeze, the... Taking the big casting. I really love casting. It was pretty good casting. I'm about to do one 175 yards, man. That's way out there. It kind of looks at me like what kind of, what kind of weight you're using on that. You're using a three ounce. I don't know that much. I miss that, you know, casting and uh, some canoeing. Yeah, I miss, I miss, I miss being in the States, you know, there's a lot of beautiful places, a lot of beautiful people. People sometimes don't know what they have, you know, until it's gone. Well, liberty, all you have to do is be respectful to people. Yes, sir, no, sir. Uh, uh, respect for my elders. I don't get much of that anymore. These kids are not getting a good education at all. We don't even know the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. That's a damn shame, man. You know? But what can you do? Like, once you reach a certain age, it's like, good moves, y'all. So I'm just living my life, quiet life, and smoking. And I paid my dues in the military, gave Uncle Sam my best years of my life. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be alive and able to enjoy my, my smoking and you know, I try to be respectful to other people, consideration, but, you know, I put it this way, I earn my keep, you know, and, uh, you know, what I have, I, I thank the good Lord for it, hard work, you know, cook corners, you know, I remember one time I spent a time in jail, I was renting from some some woman an apartment and uh she wanted to start a, a love affair and at that time i had been separated from my wife six months i was just looking for a place to hang my to work and just make ends meet and give her the money and it was six months and she wanted to start some affair it wasn't about that she got pissed off at me. And she accused me of stealing a steak. The police came and got me. He's like, well, yeah, you... And, uh, entering. They call that breaking and entering. I said, what you take to talk about? Because when I left the home, her house, I was like, listen, man. I'm going to come and get my stuff. Man, got my got my stuff. She wasn't there for me to turn the keys off and then come in another day. So she accused me of breaking and entering. <laughs> her mom was ex cop. These guys came over. Harassed me. Do you know this lady? Yes. Yeah, Is she okay? She said, yeah. She accused me of breaking and entering because they took me down to the precinct. And I'm sitting there and they're reading my rights. You're reading my rights? For what? I says, here's, here's my lease. And here's some keys. <laughs> they didn't know what to do. They were harassing me. They kept me overnight. Because they looked at me. I was real angry. They thought I was going to go back and start something. 
He said, no, no, no. The woman's gone. She wants to start something. And I, I, I'm not having it. And, uh, took my stuff, left, and ended up getting back together with my wife. My wife has been married 39 years. Same woman. You know, when you marry, things happen sometimes. You misunderstand it. Sometimes a woman I talk, start listening to her friends. And uh, my wife being married started hanging out with these uh, women that were singles. So, you know, they're haters. You know, and uh, I really don't like feminist women. You know? I'm, I'm in control. So she got all this stuff about feminism and everything. I said, I told you. When you met me, I told you straight up. Military man, I'm... This is the way it is. Last word is my word. And so, you know, to them, it's like, oh, he's macho. He's, he's not that. I really believe a man has his place and a woman has her place. And we came to an understanding. You know, you have him just give me a, a room where I can smoke and the rest of the house is yours. And raise the kids. They're all good now. They're all productive citizens. And look what you would have missed up. You would have... All, all those friends that you have, they still single. Moping and stuff, they don't have no kids. You know, sometimes people want to rain on your parade. And you gotta say, I ain't having that. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, a woman can make as much money as a man and can do what a man can do, but this is my life. I ain't gonna let no woman control my life. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, my key. I respect you, I respect a woman, but woman respects me. Well that's enough for that. I don't want to touch on that topic, but it's telling you a little bit about my so so I'm content right now. Here on the island You gotta know two weeks to wear the masks again because tourists are coming thinking they can openly walk around. This this COVID thing is not going away anytime soon. So you best take care of yourself and the next guy. Because you might not get it, but you could be carrying it. You know what I'm saying? So, I believe in living peacefully. I, I really want to go to Yosemite National Park again and walk around and be in nature. I love nature, and at least it's open enough to where, I, you know, <laughs> everybody social distances in Yosemite National Park. And uh, I kind of miss it. I kind of miss fishing. Uh, you know, most of my friends are dying off. What can you do, right? But I'm quick to make new friends and uh, talk and... You know, one thing that I I saw always wanted to do is archery. And I've been watching the Olympics. Archery, man, it sounds so good, man. You there, yeah, you can. It's like almost meditation, almost zen like. You can draw back the bow. And nothing about hunting, you know, target archery. I really like to get into that. And then I can do, I don't have to. Hot skip and jump to stand there, pull the bow back. That'd be interesting, you know. Just to do it. See how good I can get at my age. A challenge. So, so this is really nice. I'm smoking some um, Captain Black. I'm really stuck on the Captain Black, man. It's just the right blend for me, you know? So this is Piper the Sailor Man, Sailor the Piper Man. Have a good evening, smoke up, and enjoy your life, man. Bye.